So when you're a brand new seller and you don't have any, you know, ratings on your account, it's going to be tougher in the beginning to sell. It's going to be still easy, obviously, but it's going to be a lot tougher. Once you build up social proof, it doesn't matter on, you know, regardless of the platform, if it's Amazon, if it's Poshmark, if it's Mercari, if it's eBay, if it's Facebook Marketplace or any other platform, you know, offer up Etsy, whatever. Social proof goes a long way because buyers see the rating on the actual store and that there's been, you know, X amount of transactions. Maybe it's, you know, 30 with good five star reviews. Maybe it's, you know, a couple hundred with good five star reviews. Maybe it's a couple thousand with good five star reviews and a good rating. Right. And so the more social proof you have, the less buyers will think twice about purchasing from you when they won't even think about it. When they see an item that they like, they see that the seller is highly rated. They will just purchase, you know, with a click of a button and not think twice about it when you're new and there's only a couple ratings on you, or maybe you don't have any ratings whatsoever, it becomes, you'll still sell, okay? You definitely will still sell, don't get me wrong, you'll sell a lot, but it becomes even more important to then go and follow up with those buyers to get reviews so that you can scale faster and that you can build up that social proof faster, okay? So there actually did used to be a way, I took a little screenshot of one of my, you know, one of the original ones where I requested a rating, there used to be a way to request a rating on uh, on Facebook Marketplace. And I believe it was through mobile. There was a way to do it through the mobile app of Facebook Marketplace. And you would go through like your, your past shipping orders, click on it. And there was like a little button there next to the past shipping order that had been delivered to like, hey, request a rating from the buyer. I literally just searched for like 15 minutes straight and could not for the life of me find it on mobile or on desktop. So either Facebook took it off completely because they didn't want to annoy buyers or more likely, you know, what they're usually doing is they're introducing new things here and there and then they're slowly moving them around. It's like some people get the shipping option, other people don't. Some people get the ability to add multiple quantities, other people don't. Because it's so new and they're slowly rolling it out, that's just how they operate. It doesn't matter with like, even when they up, like add a new update of the Facebook, like the way that the Facebook looks, right? Some people get it faster than others. That's just how Facebook rolls things out, okay? And so it's probably most likely a case of they rolled it out to me and now I don't really have it, but it'll show up eventually again in the future. And so while, by the time you're watching this, there very well could be either on desktop or on mobile, a way to go to your past shipping orders, see who's been delivered, and then simply request a rating like this. It pops up as a message like request a rating and then they can click on the transaction so that makes it very very easy right but if not one of the things that you want to do i don't do this anymore uh because now i have ratings and like people just rate me i've noticed that like one i want to say like one out of every four people ish rate me maybe a little bit maybe a little bit less than that maybe one out of every five so like 20 to 25 percent ish and that's just a total estimate in my head of like what i've seen anecdotally so i don't really even request ratings anymore or follow up with buyers i just collect the ratings of people that actually do rate me but when you're beginning and you don't have any ratings or you have very few ratings it becomes even more important to actually follow up with your buyers and obviously then you know have some kind of script here so that you can get a rating from them. So I just wrote out one here. It was something along the lines of, of you know, how I used to kind of approach it. I would track everything. I would wait like three to five days after their order had been delivered just to make sure that they were happy with it, obviously. And I didn't hear anything back or any you know issues with it. Chances are, if there's going to be an issue with the delivery or with the item, they'll let you know very, very quickly, right? Very rarely is somebody going to wait like five days or like a week and then come up with an issue. They'll let you know right away. So if you, because what I'm saying here is like, if the buyer's unhappy, you don't want to ask for a rating, right? It makes total sense. So if you wait like three to five days and you don't hear anything from them, then it becomes, you know, smart to follow up with them and ask for a rating because you can assume in most cases that they're a very happy customer. Okay. So you can say something along the lines of like, Hey, I saw your order was delivered a few days ago. If you're happy with it, I really appreciate it. If you rated me as a seller, as a new seller, I rely on buyer reviews to help me build my store. And Hey, if there's anything else I can help you with, please let me know. Thanks. Right. That doesn't mean you have to be pushy and be like, Hey, you haven't reviewed me yet. Like you said you were going to, right? Like, and keep following up with them. You don't want to be pushy and annoying. So if they say that they will, fine. If they say that they won't, fine. If they don't respond to you, fine. Just let it go. But just this message right here might be the difference between a couple more reviews and a couple more social proof, which then helps you scale your store faster and get more sales, okay? So when you're new, have a plan, whether you can request a rating on the app or desktop, or if you just want to follow up and keep track of your follow-ups in like your spreadsheet with like how you're actually tracking your orders and your profit and everything, have like another column in your spreadsheet of like, have I followed up with this person for a review yet? Yes or no. And then follow up with them, you know, three to five days after their, after their order. 
that's a good way to do it. Another little tip that I recommend for you is when you're new, obviously the majority of us wanna make money. That's the main goal of this, right? You wanna make profit, okay? That said, you can also source things uh, you know, super, super cheap and or sell things around the house super, super cheap just to get some reviews in the beginning. Or you can also, obviously, like I said, the majority of us, the main goal, not the majority, everybody's main goal is to make money with this, right? And that's totally understandable. It's mine too. It should be yours. But when you're beginning, if you don't have a lot of reviews, sell things at break even, right? Sell things at like 1% profit margin because nobody else is really doing that. And while you won't make much money and you have to go through the hassle of actually processing those orders, you know, fronting the money and then getting the money back later, you will get reviews because the price point will be super low and you will have happy customers, which will help you get social proof and scale faster okay so three little tips there obviously follow up with buyers you know three to five days after or you know whatever set schedule you want to do I'd recommend at least waiting three days after the delivery I think that that's a safe kind of way to way to kind of approach it so either request a rating I used to do this on mobile you can also check mobile or desktop or follow up with a specific message. You can come up with your own, model it after mine, or whatever you wanna do. It doesn't really matter specifically like what this is, just obviously make sure that they're a happy customer, make sure that they know that you're always here if they have you know, follow-up questions or things that you, they need help with, and that you know, as a new seller, you, you really rely on buyer reviews and you'd really appreciate it if you know, they reviewed you, right? You don't have to do anything fancy or flashy here. Just communicate with them like they're a person, they will appreciate it and probably review you well, okay? Or number three, sell things at break even or sell things around the house or for very few, very little profit margin just to get some initial reviews and then you can focus on profit. You don't have to do that, obviously. It's just a recommendation because I think once you have some social proof, like, you know, five to like 20 reviews, which is relatively low, obviously, that's when you'll start seeing orders roll in very, very quickly because people will just start trusting you inherently. So hope that this helps. This is why reviews and social proof are crucial in the beginning.